Hey guys, welcome back. Here we have a, a desktop hard drive. I have it here on an external case. This is from a, from a unit that a customer came in this morning, uh, urgent, that his computer was not starting. All his data is on this drive here. So we're doing a hard drive recovery. He doesn't really, uh, he got a new unit, so we didn't really get into fixing the computer. Just uh, it was going to be a simple data transfer. Um, but as you guys know, you know, nothing is really simple. So uh, we put in an external uh, drive, and this is what we get. You don't want to see this when you want to try to recover a hard drive and you put it in an external drive like this. Basically, uh, Windows is saying, do you want to reformat this drive? Not good news. And if you look here in disk management, there's the drive right there. It's 160, shows up as 150, and it shows raw, meaning uh, Windows does not recognize any type of format on it. This is not good news for this customer. Uh, so here we're going to do a couple things. We're going to try to recover it. I'm going to do uh, some follow-up videos so you would see basically how it's done. Even though I don't attempt to try this uh, yourself uh, because if things go wrong for you, um, you know, there's going to be no way to get your stuff back. So, But I will do a quick follow-up. One of the things that I did here as well, just to give you a little heads up, is you've seen some videos where we use the uh, HD Sentinel. And it actually gives a uh, a number, performance number for the hard drive and a life. And if you look at it right here, that gives you an idea of what's going on with that drive. It has a 10% uh, life, so pretty much it's dying. Uh, what we're going to do is, first we're going to try to make a clone of the drive. The reason for that is going to be if, uh, if in the recovery things go bad, at least we'll have a copy. Uh, of the bad drive. That sounds kind of redundant, but it's better to have a bad copy of a drive than no copy of a drive. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to make an image of the drive and then we're going to go into recovery. So I'll follow up in another video. Actually, let me give you a couple seconds. This is the breakdown uh, with the HD Sentinel software, which is actually free. You can get that online. And it gives you here some of the information about the drive, or it did. It's gone now. But basically, if you saw it really quick there, it showed you the life of the drive. It showed you how many bad sectors. And basically, like a full report of what's going on uh, with the drive. Catch you in a few minutes. Hey, guys. Here we are back. We did the, uh, the hard drive image. What we're using over here um, is a tool called... FTK Imager, you can see that there, FTK Imager, and uh, so we ran the image of it, We uh, it took, you can see here the results, a little over two hours, and shows there's some bad sectors uh, found, but basically the software kind of just runs through and, you know, skips the bad sectors and just goes through and tries to just finish it off. So it did, it did finish, uh, it verifies the image over here, and uh, so the image is verified. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put this on another software to actually do the recovery, the actual physical drive. We have an image of it, and then now we're going to go to work on recovering the actual hard drive itself. Okay, so I'll show you how that goes in a little bit. Hey guys, I wanted to give a little bit more detail here on uh, on this file here, which is the report. So when we look here at the bottom, you're going to see attention. The following sectors could not be read. So I'm going to drop back so you can see that. So if you go through, I mean, there's quite a few sectors not read. So what this does, it just skips over that and just writes whatever whatever it can. As you can see, it's pretty long. Uh, many uh, image software, uh, you know, cloning programs, uh, most of them will run into an error and basically stop. So this will just continue right through. And that's one of the reasons why we use this here. I just wanted to show you that, that detail of, of what that shows there. Actually, let's go back up so you can see that again. This is basically like a summary report of... Um, or a log, I should say. So you can see that right there. 
All right, catch you in a bit. Hey guys, here we are doing the little follow. Here we're at the, uh, well, I'm on another computer right now. This is the same uh, hard drive. We're doing the uh, recovery now. There's a lot of software out there. I have several uh, different ones that I use. Uh, this is my pretty much kind of go-to. Uh, usually does the job. If, if I have any issues, then I'll go to somewhere else or I'll use another, another software, but uh, this is pretty good. It's a paid software. Um, it's called Recover My Files. You can see it there. So we put it in here. We started the recovery, and as, as you can see, um, you know, it's a good sign. It's running through. It's finding files regardless of the condition that it's in, it's in raw. So if we take a look here, I'm probably gonna hopefully, let me see if it'll give me, uh, this sometimes takes uh, take four, six, eight, ten hours. I've seen this run overnight. So it starts giving you an, uh, a little structure of things that it finds. So I wanna just kinda show you that. In, in this case, it's probably gonna stay It'll probably keep the the uh, the folders and stuff intact. Exactly. So if we look at this, it looks like a pretty intact, um, you know, folder. Uh, it's Windows um, XP, so that's why you don't see a user folder. You see the documents and settings here. Now I'm not going to mess around with this anymore. I don't like to screw around with this while it's actually, you know, processing. So for now, everything looks looks good. I mean, this is going to take a while. Uh, I'm going to leave it here overnight. Hopefully, we'll come back in the morning. This will be done. And then from there, uh, this is the actual read. From there, we go into the recovery phase where it just transfers everything that it did find. And we're going to put that into an external drive for the customer. So just wanted to show you that. Recover my files. That's the menu. And that's the hard drive we're working on. Thanks for watching. Hey, welcome back everybody. This uh, recovery finished. We left it overnight, so here we are the next morning. And this is kind of the results. This hardware was fairly in, intact, those files, so basically we're gonna go here. This root is um, primarily the, 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 the structure that was on there, that's on there. And then it goes into these other recovered files, which could be, you know, uh, deleted folders and things like that from the past. So we're gonna go straight here to this root and we're gonna grab here the uh, documents and settings. Remember, this is a uh, Windows uh, XP, so pictures and all that kind of stuff is actually in there. We're gonna grab, just grab a couple others here, just miscellaneous, in case there's something in there. Um, there's a like a user folder here. So we're gonna go through that. If we look down here, we can see how much data is there. So we got about 22 gigs, and uh, we're just gonna go uh, export this to uh, an external hard drive, and hopefully we should be good to go. So I'll show you the final result in a few minutes. Hey guys, so here we are back. This is the, the final outcome of all the recovery. If we take a look here, we got the external drive, which we put everything to. And then these are the files that we chose and picked out uh, to recover. So in the end, it all seems like a pretty simple process. If you know what you're doing, you got the right tool. So. That's it. Thanks for watching.